Hi, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. This afternoon we're having our lunch. It's going to be a hearty corn chowder, which I love. Mr. Bucky likes it too, but not as much as I do. So I've already got two cups of water boiling, and to that I'm going to add two cubes of chicken cubes, or chicken bouillon cubes is what I call them. Just drop those in. Let those get this all. And, let's stir that around a little bit. Let those get completely dissolved. I'm going to put the lid on it so it doesn't make so much steam in here. And turn it down to medium low. Now, for the corn, I've got uh, two, I think these are 15 ounce cans of whole kernel corn. Now I got these for 50 cents a can at Walmart, so I decided that's what I'm going to make today. So it's whole kernel corn. I'm going to dump that in the Vitamix, water and all. And that's one can. Now on the second can, I'm just going to use half of it. I'm going to save some of the corn kernels to be whole. Dump all that water in there take really uh, at least half of it, save half of it to put in the chowder in a minute. All right, so now we're going to grind this corn up until it's smooth and creamy. So we'll be right back. Now, if you don't have a Vitamix, you can use a blender for this too. All right, we'll be right back. There's what it looks like when it's all ground up. I mean, it's really kind of a liquid. All right, so we've got our two cups of water boiling. We've got the uh, chicken bouillon cubes in there. Now I'm going to add, get the lid off that, I'm going to add, this is a 14 and a half ounce can of uh, chicken broth. Just because I had it, you could actually use about four cubes of the chicken bouillon and four cups of water it would work too. All right, now to this I'm going to add one four ounce can, let me cook dice dromedary uh, dates and uh, excuse me pimentos I'm thinking dates anyway they're diced and this is the uh, four ounce little bottle and I'm going to dump that in water and all right into that little mixture now I'm going to let that come back to a boil and we'll be right back Okay, it's come to a full boil now. I'm going to turn it down to medium low. We're ready to dump our ground up corn mixture in there. Just get all that goodness in there. Now it really does pretty much grind the corn up to, to really a liquid at this point. Alright, so just stir that around a little bit. Now, to me, what's going to make it a chowder is what we're going to put on top of it. Right now, right now, it's mainly just a soup. And you notice I didn't put any extra salt because the bouillon and the chicken broth has plenty of salt, so you don't need any additional salt. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that corn right out of the can. And let it just kind of simmer here for a little while. I don't know, just until it comes back to a boil again. All right, we'll be back, and I'll show you what we're going to add on top of it. Okay, this um, chowder, I call it, has come to a boil now, so I'm going to cut my burner off. And this is what we're going to garnish it with. Some of the Kraft 3 cheese. I'm going to put a whole bunch of cheese on top. And also, I'm going to, if I can find them, there they are. These are some onion green onion tops out of our garden. These are onions that I planted that were sprouting here a month or so ago. So I'll put some of those on top and some real bacon bits. These are just the Oscar Mayer, just, just a few bacon bits on top. And we'll be ready to eat. So I'll show you what it looks like when we get it in the bowl. We'll be back. Okay, we are ready to uh, eat and uh, I have got the uh, uh, wonton noodles. I fried those out yesterday and just put them in a bag along with 
a paper towel to kind of soak up any extra grease. We've got our tea ready. Anyway, I want to show you why I call this a chowder because this has actually got about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup of cheese in it. Look at that. Mm -mm, good. And I've got the bacon bits in there, so what we do when we eat it is just stir it up a little bit. And look at that. It looks like a Christmas chowder. Doesn't it? Yeah. There's one before it stirred up. All the cheese goes down there. You want to put it in the bowls when it's super hot. Then put that cheese right on top of it and it kind of sinks in so you can see some of it there. And it's delicious and very hearty. All right, we will see y'all next time.